Hi, I'm Willie, and welcome back to my channel. Thank you to everyone for being here. Thank you, thank you. Um, first thing, look what I got. Four Natools, right? So one of these is going to Steve Pepin. So I'll get that uh, dropped in the mail. And then these other three are for giveaways. We are going to give these away at uh, right now we're a little over 11,000 so at uh, at uh, 12,000 13,000 and 14,000 viewers I'm going to give these away and there's not going to be any crazy ridiculous uh, plots that you have to partake in uh, there's going to be a saying just like there was with the 10,000 subscriber giveaway and then somebody will be randomly selected to get one of these awesome little devices so that's coming up so let's get let's pump those numbers up um, tomorrow network theory is going to start so the first video is going to explain to you you know what we're going to cover and we'll get into a little bit of uh, meat and potatoes tomorrow night and then uh, we're going to have uh, more live stream coming this weekend all kinds of stuff coming up uh, got some new recording devices that we're going to try out and uh, as always uh, for those of you who uh, use my Amazon links, you know that money is going back into the lab. So we've got a lot of new goodies um, that are networking related that uh, will be hitting videos in the next few weeks. So what I want to talk about tonight is something really exciting, and that is that uh, Edge Max Edge Router Software version 1.9.7 has been released. And if you go out, I'll put this uh, this link down in the description but uh, this was released yesterday and they have here's all of the links to download but for those of you who are having problems with IPsec VPNs and then also possibly having problems with L2TP uh, VPNs this may cure your problem so real quick let's take a look the one new feature that's been added is the uh, UNMS support and that is the Ubiquity Network uh, Management System which I am going to be doing a video on that but if you go out to the demo site you can look at all the devices that they've got in here so it's not exactly um, it's not exactly Unify for the Edge Max and Air OS uh, series but it is a network management solution so you're going to be able to monitor devices make some changes and things like that and uh, there's even some rumors that this will have some hooks into Unify so you can at least monitor those devices so I'm really excited about this you know that I run uh, Libra NMS right now I uh, have gone out to the the uh, beta form where UNMS lives and I have asked for them to provide basic even just ICMP support for non ubiquity guests because uh, then I could start looking at transitioning to one system completely ubiquity and it would be awesome so go out check out the demo um, it does run in docker do not let that drive you away docker uh, is like it's it's a uh, virtual abstraction layer for software so in the premise behind it uh, or one of the premises behind it could be that if you build a piece of software in docker so it brings all the, the prereqs in is that you should be able to run that on multiple Linux platforms so this could uh, be a good thing and, and hopefully maybe in the future you see where you know ubiquity is going to support some of these docker images on something besides you know ubuntu and debian because some people are really into the red hat vein of things too so don't be afraid of docker the script that they have you know go out sign up for the forum look at the roadmap and all that you know the switches are coming soon it already does air os um, and the edge routers i've run it i've got clients on it you know we're beating it up and testing it so don't be afraid um, and i am we'll go through an install and, and things like that so the next thing for 1.9.7 is you can check out the enhancements and bug fixes. So there's some things and anything that they they um, they add in here to tell you what um, portion or part of the software that the enhancement or, or fix 
has happened in is they, they put that up front. So like the new features, UNMS. So inside this bracket, that's kind of the, the uh, feature of the software um, portion that, that has the fix or the enhancement. So you've got some PPPOEs, some SNMP fixing, some route fixing. Um, it looks like there is some CLI fixes, BGP, firewalling, DNS mask. So look at all the, the fixes and all of the um, enhancements. This is wonderful. I loaded this up on a couple clients where I was having problems with IPsec um, and L2TP. Uh, couldn't figure, you know, figure out some of the issues and boom, problems went away. So um, check this out. Uh, you know, I am going to do this same type of video just like I do with Unify when the new version of Unify comes out. So here's a fix for L2TP, uh, some more IPsec related settings, a discovery fix, and here's something that is huge. Look at this in the web GUI. They removed PHP and they rewrote the back end in Python. So, and if you're using third party that depends on PHP, then you'll have to manually install PHP on the edge router because PHP will not be included in the edge router firmware anymore. That's huge. And uh, Python is a, a very versatile uh, programming language. If you, uh, if, uh, my suggestion if you're you're into networking and you're into infosec and you want to learn some programming python is a fantastic language to learn so there's more uh, web gui stuff that they fixed uh, so check it out um, and then there's the updated software components ip version 6 l2tp and sometimes you you will see here where things were discussed. So if things were bro broken and they were discussed on the forum, um, you, they had the links to those. So definitely go check this out. If you're running edge routers and you're having any problems with the VPNs, um, and you really should when Ubiquity releases an upgrade, as long as it doesn't break something, uh, they're usually enhancing security as well. And I think I saw something like, so here's a cross-site scripting vulnerability. So perfect, they addressed that. It's not a big deal. Uh, you know now because they fixed it so there's always security stuff and it's in your best interest as long as this isn't going to break something that's working to upgrade the operating system go out check out check out UNMS get familiar with it we'll do uh, you know we'll do an installation in Docker I'll show you really how easy that is so that's it for tonight tomorrow night uh, I've got to check out a camera for a client that's way up on a pole in the middle of nowhere and then we'll be releasing the network theory the first video in that series so uh, if you like this video please give me a thumbs up please comment and subscribe please follow me on Twitter and Instagram please use my affiliate links below to keep a few bucks rolling into the channel if you need any consulting please contact me uh, even if you don't need consulting contact me you can uh, look for that phone number that's down there in the links and if you call and i'm around i will answer the phone and once again thank you and we'll see you in the next video